All right, guys, welcome back to STK Cattle. So, I went through fixing hot wire, got it as hot as I could, and uh, sorry about the bed. I know it's, it blows. Uh, but, Here's my four uh, repeat offenders. They uh, they're the four that tested the wire constantly, and uh, I don't know if I don't know if I'll be uh, taking the sale barn or. Maybe give them another chance here, another uh, another month or so. They've got a bale of decent Bermuda hay, so they'll have plenty to eat for a while. They get a friendly neighbor. It's our little filly Mesa. She'd be a year old. But, anyways, there wasn't anything going to keep those, those four calves in. So, uh, brought them home, put them in the pen. They're, uh, they could live here for a little while and I'll, while I try to decide what I want to do with them. But, just, just call it calf jail. These are usually horse pens, but with hay prices, I let them out, let the horses out in the pasture to eat everything they could find and possibly stay in better condition than be scrounging for hay and feed and all that. This is a horse feed trailer. It uh, holds about 5,000 pounds. Got a pretty good deal on that. Here's my old stock trailer. It's a 24 by 6. Uh, I think the brand's a tough built. Whenever I bought it, didn't have a floor. And got the floor in Stephenville, Texas. It's made for putting in milking parlors. It's called Fiber Grate. And it's a one inch by one inch hole. I think that thing's two inches thick. But that took, yeah, they come in a four by eight sheets. And I had to get six of them. But there in Stephenville, Texas, I found this trailer on uh, Facebook or might have been Craigslist back then. I don't know. I've had this thing for, uh, oh, I've probably had it six or seven years now. But it's been a good trailer. It's heavy. It's old. I don't have to worry about hurting the paint. Get something nice. Here it is. I end up needing a trailer in the middle of a middle of pastures and whatever quite a bit had to replace the rear axle it came with uh, 265 75 16 uh, pickup tires turns out when you're loaded heavy and you turn you'll strip your rear axle out it's weird it's like they're not made for trailers. This is my, what I use to pull most of my, my stock trailer with and horse trailers and stuff. It's a 1990 Chevy. It's 3500, got the 454 in it. It's a really nice pickup. I have 
one just like it whenever I was, well, I got it whenever I was 16 for a uh, first pickup. I rolled it. Um, you know, stupid kid stuff, but pretty basic interior. When I bought it, I don't know, two or three years ago, had 69,000 miles on it. Well, that says it's got 84,758, uh, something like that. But the four speed can't break it, but it'll, uh, you're not going to go off too awful fast with it. But I picked up cattle all through Texas and been to Missouri. This pickup's been all over the place worst part of it it's got that old headliner need to get that fixed it's got the cb doesn't work there's no antenna i mean how long has it been since anyone's seen one of those yeah that's classic air filters for a case 8930 hot shot cattle stick uh, oh, carrier bearing. I know just the carrier bearing on this pickup is pretty loose, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Anyways, uh, plug wires. New trailer plug back there. But, no, it's it's been a great truck. When I got it, the front calipers were seized. But, some old man had it, and uh through covid he uh oh he was in his 90s he bought it new with a matching rv to pull behind it i'm feeling like he's painting this trailer or getting another trailer to paint to match but uh he uh oh pop the hood uh yeah i didn't have to hit the hood 90s model chevy didn't even have to hit a toe. Uh, but when he retired in 89, he ordered this pickup. Match the trailer. Uh, and the toe hit is Dr. Golden. He probably shouldn't uh, travel anymore. So uh, I ended up with a pickup for a pretty decent deal. Um, but got a couple oil leaks. It's worked hard. It's probably had that had the old man's RV on it its whole life. Windshield wiper squirters work, cruise works. But I had a big stainless steel wing on the top. Or I think it's stainless, might have been aluminum. Bolted up there or deflected the keep the uh, uh, keep the wind off the RV I've still got it um, one of those blue for the tailgates in it the old man had this had the original tailgate sitting in the rafters of his barn covered in cobwebs covered in mud daubers nests Asked if I wanted it. Oh, heck yeah, I wanted it. <laughs> uh, so this thing has never pulled a bumper pull trailer. This is all it's got for trailer plug, and I don't think that's even been used. But, yeah. You can see the old RV antenna over there. Uh, got a plug screwed in the side of the bed there pretty handy so your lights don't hang down behind the bed and catch on your receiver hitch or your ball or whatever but it's a pretty cool truck it does great for one stop trailers but anyways that's uh, what I've got going on today it's 
Thursday the 13th, um, April 13th. I'll uh, probably upload this fr this video on Friday. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, share with your buddies so you can get a good laugh, whatever. Uh, anyways, hope you guys have a good weekend. Thanks.